Hey guys, uh, you probably noticed I've been doing more vlog instead of blog posts. Um, basically, the space in my life right now hasn't lent itself to the writing blog posts as much, but I figured I'd take what space I can get to share some insights from what I'm picking up around the world right now. So one of the pieces that has been dancing um, among just the people I love and just things that we're seeing out in the world is the dance of light and dark, right? So the dark shadows, like even your shadow self, you know when people really irritate you and then you step back from it and you kind of realize, <clears throat> you know, I do that too. That's really, I'm kind of annoying that way too. <laughs> That's, you know, getting triggered, right? And, um, or sometimes, you know, that's not what's happening. And there's also these amazing times when you're mirroring with a friend or a coworker or a family member where you're having similar experiences and um, they can be feeling positive or negative, but regardless, if you stay in that awareness of mirroring where you're like, whoa, I'm going through that, you're going through that, what can we learn from each other's experiences? I wanted to throw that out to think about because along with my previous blog post where I talked about, you know, your smooth parts and, and being able to really embrace and receive positive feedback from people, I also wanted to encourage you to look at your shadows, your darker parts, and see that they there is a lesson and a gift in those parts. So the angry parts, the sad parts, the irritable parts. and. You know, I recently have really been practicing when I get angry to let it move through me and just throw down and, you know, say what I want to say. It's not always to that person or that situation, but it's a way of, um, and I know I've talked about this before, but I want to reinforce it, a way of not squishing down those very human feelings not squishing them down so that with gratitude or like not allowing yourself to feel those things. Um, at the same time, once you kind of let them through, to quote my favorite um, Buddhist teacher, um, Thich Nhat Hanh, there's this beautiful way of then watering the seeds of compassion and um, light. And I've been taking this amazing course on um, the, the teachings of Kuan Yin um, and I can uh, give you more information about that. But one of the things I've been learning to recognize when I get hang angry, I like that hangry, um, angry or, or hurt or um, have these vulnerable reactions that are really uncomfortable for me, the, the Kuan Yin course has really taught me, it's been a meditation every single day so far now for 62 of 108 days. And it's not like this meditation where I'm, oh, it's just like somebody gives me uh, something to think about and then I sit with it a little bit in semi-consciousness when I first wake up. And one of the pieces around when you're hurt and angry and those shadows are triggered is being able to look at them in yourself or even in another person with compassion and to look at yourself as a little kid. So those are just your unhealed parts, right? So when you might compare yourself to others or um, think, oh, I'm not good enough, or I stink, or um, why, 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 why is this happening? Why does this always happen to me? You know, maybe switch that, switch that script and that story to say, hey, maybe, maybe there's this, this part I remember from when I was little. Not to have to dwell on the pain as much as to embrace and recognize that, you know, by these awesome birds behind me. <laughs> There's been some pelican diving that's been awesome. Anyway, the whole point is being able to look and embrace, sometimes having a picture of yourself as a little kid can really help you to be able to embrace those parts that um, you're not thrilled with and to really be nicer to yourself around that. And in essence, that level of awareness about yourself allows you to have that for other people that maybe really bug you or that are in pain and that in their pain they discharge blame. So I'm gonna share a few other resources, articles, and videos that you might find helpful um, along these lines to support this concept as well as one of my favorite pictures I took one night when um, having a bit of a, a dance party um, with my son that I think you'll like, of, that kind of shows the shadow but in a new light. 
All right, sending you lots of love and uh, expansiveness because that is what we are all trying to do. We're trying to expand as human beings so that we can bring light into the world and shift a lot of this bigger stuff we see happening in the U.S. and in countries around the world where um, pain and fear and other things are erupting. There's a way that when we show up in our daily lives, I think we can shift that in a major, major way. Mwah. Have a fantastic, fantastic weekend. Bye.